bright at tie Cause I'm low on the phone, you sick So I talk till I drop, you say how could I Have a heart made of stone white Oh, when we synchronize It's exactly what I throw and I fantasize Playing games with my mind, making us collide And we know how it goes when we're out at night And I don't know We are the change, and each of us has a critical role to play. To fight against prejudice, to be allies. I understand you. I hear you. I feel empowered. It doesn't matter how high the wall is, I'm gonna climb it. We have a chance, an opportunity right now to change our history, our future, everything. Center. Stay.
standing six foot eight, number 32, Marquis Chris. From Michigan State, number 23, Draymond. Small forward at six foot six inches, number 22, Andrew Wiggins. From Washington State, number 11, Clay Thompson. And Ruth Davidson, number 30, Stafford Curry. The head coach of your home team is Steve Curry. Let's hear it for your Golden State Warriors! Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. With the new G League Pathway program, some say that the NBA is competing now with college hoops for top high school players. G League President Sharif Abdurrahim said... I don't think so. This is an opportunity for unique talents, a select group that are tracking toward the NBA. It's a different model from college. Guys, we'll see how this works out in the years to come. DA, thanks a lot. And the Clippers starting five. We've got Patrick Beverly. Morris is out there with Ivica Zubac. Then it's Paul George, and it's Leonard in at the three, the small forward. And for Golden State, Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Chris is out there with Green, and it's Wiggins in at the three spot. Terrific, talented backcourts tonight, Greg. Did it ever add anything for you playing across another top-level guard? Listen, it raises the stakes, no doubt about it. You always want the opportunity to play against the best because you want to see where you stand. But in the end, even when you know a guy's better than you, and you're going to have that be the case a lot of nights, you still know that you will have an ability to impact the outcome when it comes to winning. And, and that's where you have to keep your focus. And the shot goes in. And drawing first blood, you know coach likes that momentum out of the gate. Well, for us, it will be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? Thompson misses. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And George with the stuff. Yeah, Paul George not waiting around, wanting to get out in transition, run the floor, and become a dangerous weapon on the perimeter. Now the pass to Chris. Rebound by the Clippers. And George, here we go. Here's Morris. No good on that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. the rejection by Leonard. And that's the thing we know about Leonard. As a defender, on the ball, off the ball, he's rarely out of any play. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Zubats, his second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And he just big boyed him right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. Warriors have gone just one of four to get this game started. It's off his foot. And the ref's whistling a kickball. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Curry kicks to Green. Back to Curry. Clock at six. Pass to Thompson. The 17-footer goes down. Steph out there singing a lullaby to the defense. Gets them to sleep. And then sets up the teammate nicely. Beverly for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. The D is there but not present enough. And you can't just be there. You got to disrupt and get in the face of the shooter. And Bones, he stands just 6'1", but Patrick Beverly rebounds like a forward. The fact that he's going to bring it mentally, G.A., I mean, that's the huge advantage. I think if you're in the opposing locker room and you know you're going to get on the floor, Patrick Beverly is going to be right in your jock for every minute that you're going to be competing against. You know, George in there just gliding through, 
and makes a nice move on the drive. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Outside Curry, pass to Wiggins. And now here's Chris. Zubots defending. And the rejection by Zubots. To the middle, here's George. And George with the stuff. Well, if you're open, Patrick Beverly is going to do his best to get you the ball. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Six-point game. Hits the three-point bomb. Johnson's got five now. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by George. To the paint and, and trailing here in the first you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass Wiggins passes to Green just five on the clock it's stolen by Morris here's Leonard oh and the jam by Leonard just the level of power and explosiveness Leonard just tenacious at the rim Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Outside, Green. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Ball's knocked loose, and it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Here's Thompson. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. He's got seven. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Here's Beverly. And Curry pulls it down. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. First Warriors trail by five. Now, here's Wiggins. Poke loose. And here we go. Beverly heading to the hoop. Rips down the breakaway slam. Well, no one's going to play with more fire in a game than Patrick Beverly, one of the top perimeter defenders that's in the league. Golden State's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. On the wing, Wiggins. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Wiggins has got his second basket of the night. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor, and they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Warriors have gotten 6 of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Well, Beverly showing a bit of his speed right there, out of the blocks, hoping to get something on the drive on the inside. Golden State's gone three of four on three-pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. And a deep three from Curry, but they get it back. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. You gotta guard the long-range ball, but Steph's so good at pulling up, great footwork and foundation, a good job on the pull-up J. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And the versatility of Paul George's game, elite defense and rebounding, steals and deflections. When you think about Paul George moving to several teams, yet still having the impact on both ends of the floor, I think that is a telltale sign that you have an elite talent in Paul George.
Eric Pasco. He's checked in for Draymond Green. The Clippers also making some changes. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Zubats. Lou Williams is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Passes it to Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got nine points. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. And it goes down two points. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. Curry with it. Williams picks him up. Thompson for three. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Here's George. And George with the stuff. Well, once Paul George gets in that deep, get out of the way. He's coming right at you. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. They trail by seven. Inside, here's Chris. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here's George. That one drops for him. And the game plan is clear. Work the ball inside. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the evening. Free throw good from George. Greg, as a young player, one of your mentors was Patrick Ewing. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you as you were just getting in the NBA? I tell you, he was the consummate professional and, and really an incredible leader by example. This guy spent infinite amount of hours in the gym in the offseason honing his craft first on the floor last to leave it throughout his professional career and that's something he had in common with all the truly greats who've ever played the game wow. and the Warriors making a change here Poole's checked in free throw good from George and yeah, with Paul George it's it's pretty awesome you, you get the whole package you get great scoring you get good playmaking and rebounding you get a defender with active hands and there's a lot of things about Paul George that can elevate everything you do to have great team success uh, beyond the leaning you could see his feet more set on that screen easy call gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call now here's Leonard Good, great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists tonight. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Here's Kerr. To stop the run. It's rebounded by Lou Williams. Now there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. A second chance effort. Harrell, that's good. That's what Harold does. He's in there mixing it up, and he goes right back up for a shot. Warriors trail by 15. Timeout called the Warriors. Well, you know, teams look for plus sixes. Players whose wingspans exceed their height by a half foot. Montrez Harrell is a 6'7 player with a 7'4 wingspan. If you're struggling with the math, ladies and gentlemen, that's a plus nine. making a change here. Smile Geach is checked in. The 
they'll double him with Harrell. Will it go? Buries the jump shot. And between his length and his athleticism, Montrez Harrell well suited for that role of small ball center, Greg, in today's NBA. Yeah, I mean, he's fearless. He even giving up a few pounds, a few inches, he'll go right at you and making steady improvements as a rebounder year over year. Now, here's George. He's got 20. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Here's Poole. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And now the fast break. George with the ball. Wasted no time on that one. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Curry passes it to Toscano. Back to Curry. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Los Angeles leading by 15 from deep three-point range. Williams can't hit. Golden State's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. The pass to Curry. Launches it. Cans it from downtown. Curry's got 10 points. Got to do your best to make Steph put the ball on the floor. I know he can still do that, but catch and shoot is just deadly. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. A terrific combo guard. Some people are comparing Poole's style to that of C.J. McCollum's. Yeah, I don't know if it's that similar, maybe stylistically, but C.J.'s size and his control are something that right now, I guarantee you, Jordan Poole would love to adopt in his game. Los Angeles with some changes. Green, he's checked in for Morris. Landry Shamit comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for George. Williams, that's for two. Tips it. Harrell on the follow. And the Clippers lead by 14. Yeah, they got that one. But early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. From deep, the long distance three is buried. 13 points in the game. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. And they pick up two. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. It's stolen by Green. Now the Clippers moving it up. Green leading the charge. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Golden State gets called for the foul. And, and Reggie Jackson, the former 24th pick by the Thunder, wasn't content to back up Westbrook. He basically forced his way out in search of a larger role. First one falls for him. Teams have dynasties, the 90s, Michael Jordan. We've seen it over the many decades. Over the next decade, though, who do you think is going to lead the pack there, Greg? Ooh, that's a great question. You know, with the way Father Time is treating Le Le LeBron, you, you might have to wait and see because he is still playing at such a high level. But, you know, obviously Giannis has got to be on the short list with the Bucs. Uh, for me, I, I really look at Luka in, in Dallas. I, I just feel like with... Kristoff, uh, Porzingis, that that duo could just be deadly with how the game is played. But don't sleep on the Celtics with Tatum and Brown and 
that group that they have, with the front office they have, man, I think the league overall is going to be in great shape moving forward. It sure seems that way. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Here's Williams. The Warriors pull it in. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. It's Williams with the drive, and it's Williams finishing it off. So good at driving to the rim. Even though he's a little bit older, Williams still with great speed, change of pace, and picks the right angle. Warriors trail by 13. Here's Poole to the inside. And the basket by Smilagic. Smilagic has got his second basket. A good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Poole, the pass to Smilagic. Puts one up from 19, and the Warriors tack on two more. Only one miss in his first eight attempts. Coming out of the gate strong. Here's Jackson, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Patrick Beverly, he's checked in for the Clippers. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Poole, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. And it's Beverly missing. From outside the arc, Toscano misses. He got it up. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. And we'll be right back after this. Just catching up with Montrez Harrell, we mentioned his activity level and how it seems to affect his teammates. That's what I play with, a lot of passion, a lot of energy, and, uh, you know, going into each game, I feel like going out there, putting it all on the line, my team does a great job of feeding off that, and I think it uh, puts us in the right space. Greg, I know you agree, few guys bring his brand of intensity. I and mean, he's added skills. He's a threat to score on the blocks. He passes out of double teams. Harold's one of the more improved players over the last few years. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a comfortable margin here for the Clippers, guys. Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable, just crippling defense. Here are the five the Clippers have to start the second. We've got Patrick Beverly. Jamichael Green is out there with Landry Shemp. And there's Jackson, and it's Harrell in at the five. 
you know Jackson can just fly. I mean, that athleticism and energy is off the charts. Smilagic passes to Poole. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Beverly. Clippers leading by 14. Here's Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. And another for Jackson. A streaky score, but when he gets hot, watch out. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That is his first foul of the game. Zubats is checked in for Harold. First Here's Poole. That one doesn't go. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And here's Chris. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And the wide open shot from Green. Misses off the right iron. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Two points. That one goes. Jackson's got 18 points in the game. And how about the performance we're seeing from him? Not one miss on the day. Fires the three, and Poole gets it to go. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Got a piece of it. Now, here's Shamit, covered by Wiggins, and Green gets it to go. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. And Green gets it to go. Draymond Green around the rim, trying to find a little bit of a window to get that ball up. And again, the Clippers turn it over. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. That's tipped, stolen by Zubats. And the shot goes in. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Warriors trail by 17. Thompson outside. Golden State moving it around. On the wing, Wiggins. He's covered by Shamit. Shamit with the steal. Here's Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. It's easy to forget about Jackson's bunnies, but he's more than happy to remind you. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, he gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. There will be a subtle but significant change on the court this season. Wilson is now the official basketball supplier for the NBA and its affiliated leagues. In fact, they were the association's original supplier starting in 1946. Now, after a nearly four-decade hiatus, Wilson reclaims that position. Guys, back to you. We appreciate that, David. Thank you. Yeah, kind of tough on the defense when you let Beverly beat you on the inside. That can get his confidence going from the outside. So damage from the paint that time. That one goes. Count it. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. And the Clippers call time here. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince Star that you've drafted and developed to stay and re-sign? It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition uh, because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team I don't really think that there is a reason to want to leave. That's a solid blueprint. Ah! 
for the Clippers. Marcus Morris is checked in for Green. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Landry Shamit. And it's George in for Jackson. The baseline J. And it's Beverly missing. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Andrew Wiggins, the kind of guy that people watch with a microscope, but he has cut down on inefficient shots. Those long twos have started to take more threes and using his athletic ability when he gets on the inside to get to the foul line. The first one falls, and Wiggins looking more aggressive off the bounce. Brent getting into the teeth of the defense. Yeah, and his assist are climbing because of that. Also his turnover. So now what you want to do is slow down the game for Andrew Wiggins and show him on film where his outlets are and where his decision-making can be that much better. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. And again, no good by the Clippers. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Here's Beverly. The Warriors. Oh, oh that was huge. Incredible. Paul George dunk contest? Eh, he's maybe a, a little older, but I love to see him get up. Here's Poole, 12 points for him. Wiggins outside. And a miss there on the triple. Los Angeles leading by 17. Here's George. Wiggins with some nice D. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Thompson from long range. Good on the three-point shot. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. And that one drops for him. And the Clippers lead by 16. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Chris pass to Poole. Inside, here's Green. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Leonard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Kevin Looney! Stephen Curry! Here's Curry. 17 points in the game. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. Patrick Beverly. Curry looking it over. Shoots. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Curry's got 19 points. Good shot selection there from Steph. Feeling the rhythm and then easily connecting on the pull-up. Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And Green slams it in. For all the things that Draymond does, when he gets dunks, it makes him even more excitable. Clippers leading by 14. Here's George. And the layup's good off the glass. George has got four points now in the quarter. And Matador defense... That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Now, here's Curry. He's got 19. Good on the bucket. He's got 21. <laughs> Where hasn't he scored from? Inside, outside, in between game, driving to the hoop. Steph doing it all right here. Los Angeles calls timeout. And, of course, having that broken hand last season. Curry couldn't help the Warriors avoid a disastrous season. Kevin Durant gone. Clay rehabbing. The Warriors, I mean, legitimately just left with no scoring whatsoever. But Steph Curry, when he's healthy, he changes that whole narrative.
Eric Pasco. He's checked in for the Warriors. And then for the Clippers, Harrell comes in for Ivica Zubas. Lou Williams is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Goes up the baseline, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Morris inside, defended by Pascal. That one good for two. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Curry passes to Looney. Thompson with it, defended by George. Poked away. Here's Harrell. That shot off, so Golden State will take it the other way. A 15-footer. They get the rebound. Clippers leading by 15 outside Leonard. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Stephen Curry. And we all know what a tough cover Kawhi has become. The defender got caught in a bad position and is kicking himself for it now. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. And in a player empowerment era, no greater power move than Kawhi Leonard's last year. Fresh off a finals MVP with the Raptors, he signed with his hometown Clippers and compelled a trade for Paul George. Think about that 14-month run where Kawhi Leonard made his way to Toronto, a team that was on the cusp for many seasons. Goes there wins the MVP and the championship for the Raptors and then ends up in his hometown of Los Angeles to try to do the same for the Clippers. Now that's getting it done and writing your own story. And this is encouraging. Wiggins looking committed to shooting and forcing the D to compromise. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And he makes the first. Well, his body control is phenomenal. And his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Here's George. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got six assists now in the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now here's Wiggins. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Looney. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. George with the bucket. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Leonard attacking and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Such a difficult guy to keep up with and also have a conversation with. Leonard sometimes all you can do is foul him. The Clippers have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Yeah and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. And he knocks down the first one. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Thompson, he's checked in for Steph Curry. A 
Yes, so he gets them both. Uh, the wingspan and the timing that Kawhi Leonard has is really remarkable. He utilizes those strengths to dominate both ends of an NBA floor. Tipped away. It's stolen by Morris. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. And Marcus Morris has raised some eyebrows in the last couple of years just being a much more efficient scorer. And the first one drops. And last season, Marcus Morris' name, one of the hottest on the trade market. Yeah, there's a lot going on in Marcus Morris's offseason a year ago. A lot of contenders looking to add him to the roster. Handshake deal with the Spurs, switch to the Knicks, and then eventually trade it to the Clippers. So grab your musical chair and try to find a seat. And Morris drops them both. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Markeith, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. And the rejection by Harold. Here we go, one on one. And the shot is good. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Here's Thompson, and he uses the glass on the layup. Thompson's got seven now in this quarter. And Clay just knows how to score. There are nights where they feature him, but a lot of times it's off the goodness of everybody else. Outside, inside, and against very good defense. You know, all the way to the bucket, no resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. George against Wiggins. Pass to Thompson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's first, first. It's going to be on Montrez Harrell. Yeah, Clay Thompson is tall for a guard, so you want to utilize any advantage you have. That time height came into play. The Warriors have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And as a team, excellent a season ago. About 80% when they got to the line. And the first one at the line is good. And I hope kids out there are watching the textbook form on Thompson's jumper. So many things that you can check the boxes on in terms of the fundamentals of a great shooter. It starts at the base. It's great footwork. You square up. You got a quick release. And you got to follow through. It really is something to watch. And so Thompson nails both of them. And we hear a player's attacking rehab. You know, Greg, by all accounts, Clay took it to another level. Uh, he said he hadn't stopped working since the third day after the NBA Finals. There was even some talk of him coming back toward the end of the year. But the Warriors quickly shut that down, knowing how much he means to this franchise. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Williams against Wiggins. That one goes in. Williams has got eight points. Shooting it with more confidence now. Look at his face. He didn't look quite right in the opening minutes. Finding it now. Pass to Smilagich. Los Angeles leading by 23. And it's Williams finishing it off. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. 114 left to play here in the second quarter. Right wing. Wiggins outside. From deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best. Oh, that was something else. Ooh. 
it looks like an orange in his hand, and Kawhi tenacious to the rim with that finish. To the right side. Here's Toscano, and he's good on the three ball. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. To the paint. Here's Pascal. And slam dunk by Pascal. Yeah, some situational awareness there from Clay Thompson. He understands the offense. He understands where the cutters are, and he finds one. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. The Warriors shooting around 60% on the night. Amazing work offensively so far. Here's Smilagic, and the pass to Toscano. Golden State moving it around. Pascal, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And he's got his first free throw of the game. From Golden State, Eric Pascal. Two. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. It's been all Clippers. Here's Green. Good D by Thompson. Wiggins outside. Pass to Pascal. And the rejection by Harrell. Marquise Chris. Just four seconds left in the first half. Nailed from three-point land. Trying to build some confidence from the deeper Rangers now. Chris wanting to get more consistent from out there. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Los Angeles on top, delivering the blowout. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks so much. Kawhi, you seem to be so at ease out there. How much is that helping your game? Yeah, it's helping me out a lot. Uh, just coming in the game relaxed, just with more intensity. I mean, my teammates are getting me involved on the offensive end. I'm playing great on defense. We just got to keep it up second half and not let it up. Hey, Kawhi, thank you very much for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our Halftime Show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. An outstanding first quarter for Paul George. He had 32 points, two steals, and one assist. Kenny, what would you think about the Clippers? Well, we talk about guys who can control both ends of the floor. PG-13 has been locked in. I'd love to see his plus-minus right now. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Well, not at all what they envision coming to the game. Uh, feeling the pain has been the main problem, Ernie. They got to commit a few more bodies down low, and they got to protect the inside, protect the inside, protect the inside. But even if they do, still might be a little too late for them, Ernie. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Hold up. 
Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been one outstanding game from George. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. Yeah, you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Clippers leading by 22. They've got Draymond Green. Also, Marquise Chris is out there. Clay Thompson is out there with Wiggins. And it's Poole in at the point. That's the Warriors' five. That's pretty good focus there from Beverly. He doesn't mind having the defense on him as long as he focuses on that rim. So it's the Warriors now after the basket by Los Angeles. Here's Chris. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Chris has got seven points in the game. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting the ball with incredible accuracy. 68% so far. The Warriors shooting around 60% on the night. Amazing work offensively so far. And that one's good. Wiggins. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. That's good from George. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. On the wing, Thompson. Pass to Chris. Golden State moving the ball around. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Another three for Golden State. How about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Here's George. The shot's good. George has got 37. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Passes it to Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number eight now on the night. Deep two from Beverly. And it's good off the back rim and in. He's got 15. You do what you got to do. That's Patrick Beverly in a nutshell. Here's Curry, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Beverly for three, and again, it's the Clippers from deep. And becoming more of a staple of his attack offensively, you give Beverly a look from deep, and he'll make it. Chris pass to Curry. And another three for Golden State. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. They grab their own miss. And that one is good from Zubats. Zubats has got ten points in the game. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And it's green, missing. Yeah, and listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Snatched up, Morris. Wiggins with some nice D. Warriors trail by 21. Down low. Outside for Curry. Wiggins right side. And another three for Golden State. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Yep, it counts. Yeah, which ways tonight has Paul George not made an impact in this game? A one-man wrecking crew. To the middle. Here's Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. 
Beverly against Curry. And Chris throws it down. The Marquise Chris can get up off that floor. Wow. And the Clippers call time here. And those rebounding numbers, GA, just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach heart and you can't teach instinct. And he has both. Clippers leading by 18. Deep two from Beverly. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Beverly's got nine points in the quarter. Thompson with it. He's got 26. Curry on the wing. Off target from three-point range. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. I mean, he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, it's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Kawhi Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said, it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide-open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. DA, thank you. Here's Curry. Kawhi Leonard making his last shot. And Green slams it in. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Kept alive. Here's Morris. He can't get that one to fall. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. And the basket is good. Thompson's got 28. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. George, that's a two-pointer, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Well, Paul George just felt out the defense there, and because they weren't close, he could just pull up. Knocked loose, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Beverly. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Eric Pascoe comes in for Wiggins. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Reggie Jackson comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Thompson right side, and Thompson throws it down. Well, we love when players get hot, and Thompson right now is just feeling it. Deep two from Beverly, and it's Looney with the rebound. Warriors trail by 20. Thompson for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got 33 points. Well, he's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. And that one's good. Beverly. You want Patrick Beverly to shoot, but maybe not as open as that, knocking down a mid-range. Thompson outside. Golden State moving it around. The pass to Looney. There's the feed to Thompson. And it's Thompson with the jam. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. Harrell finds Jackson, and they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. 
love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Curry. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Curry's got seven points here in this quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And it's Beverly missing. Warriors trail by 17. To the inside. And Thompson gets it to go. Thompson's got 37. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Beverly. The shot will not fall. Good D by Thompson. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Curry is inside. Jackson on him. Good on the shot. They ran that play exactly as it was drawn up. Nice job. Clippers leading by 13. And it's in there. Well, when Paul George has that kind of length and then has the high release point that he does, very few people are going to get to it to block a mid-range jumper like that. Now here's Curry. 33 points for him. Pass to Pascal. Here's Looney. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. L.A. has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Short. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Thompson. Nice pass there to set that basket up. Here's George. Morris trying to free himself up. Here's Harrell. It's rebounded by Golden State. Pascal's got his fourth rebound in this one. He dishes it to Green. Inside, Looney. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got four assists in the game. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Yep, that one goes in there. George has got 47 points. Just tough shots just don't bother Paul George. So smooth with it when he gets into his motion. Out to the wing. Pascal kicks to Thompson. Hits it from three-point range. Thompson's got 42 in the game. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And that kind of sums up how this game is going. Uh-huh. Attack-minded all the way. Yeah, great read. Calls his own number and then sends it home. Now here's Curry. Green inside the three-point line. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Well, Draymond Green must be feeling good because no hesitation in that one there. Letting it rip. Jackson misses. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Trailing here by eight. Green finds Curry, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Green, he's checked in for Marcus Morris. Andre Shamit comes in for George. Lou Williams is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. That's good from Stephen Curry. Everything that Curry does seems to be fast. He shoots it fast, makes quick decisions with the ball, great ball handling with quick hands. Opponents at a loss with how to guard Steph Curry. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half, sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Now here's Curry. He's got 36. His three-pointers off the mark. Jackson drives in, and Jackson throws it down hard. And with a quick first step, Jackson remains a threat to drive on any defender. We've got 128 left in the third quarter. Curry passes to Looney. Stolen by Jackson. And Harrell slams it in. 
excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was short, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Wiggins is checked in for the Warriors. Curry against Jackson. To the paint. Here's Wiggins. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Jackson gets the bucket. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Curry against Jackson. Curry's shot is off. Clippers leading by 11. Shamit the pass to Williams. The shot from the low post is good. Williams has got 12. Well, even when you get physical with Lou Williams, he'll use that against you. Keeps his balance that time. Lou Williams, so crafty, G.A., just a knack for putting the ball in the basket. This guy just has the gift. I mean, it's been that way forever. He is just a born scorer. The first free throw is good. And the Clippers making a change here. Patterson's checked in. And both free throws good for Curry. Now you could tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. And he gets the bucket. 14 points for him. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Good on the triple. He is just self-willing, his team right now, doing everything he can to keep them alive. Here's Shamit. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got assist number eight now on the night. Curry kicks to Pascal. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the L.A. Clippers. This has been a remarkable game for him offensively. Anytime you get over the 40-point mark, it's been a special, special day. Back right after this. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. The well, coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. I've been and there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Taking a look at Los Angeles, Jermichael Green is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Williams. Then there's Landry Shamit, and it's Jackson in at the point. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. Off target from outside. Leonard attacking, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And don't give a cerebral player like Leonard that kind of opening. He'll read that gap. Now Curry. Down low. Here's Smilagich. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Terrific effort from him, really, all night. Yet despite his supreme marksmanship, they're still operating at a deficit. Here's Jackson. And he banks in the layup. 
30 points for Reggie Jackson. Not an easy basket for Jackson. He doesn't shoot a really high percentage, but he does make a lot of tough hoops. Curry way outside. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Curry's got 44. Well, he should be playing this game with an apron on because he's cooking right now. And Leonard gets it to go. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. It's good. Leonard's got six here in this quarter. I mean, uh, Kawhi Leonard, an MVP candidate. Why? Well, they're the reasons right there. One of the best two-way players we've seen in the past five years. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Stephen Curry. First free throw is good. And the Warriors making a change here. Pascal's checked in. The Clippers also making some changes. Zubats is checked in for Jermichael Green. And it's Montrez Harrell in for Reggie Jackson. <laughs> Leonard hits them both. Here's Curry. On the wing, Wiggins. Back to Curry. Chris kicks to Curry. Pass to Pascal. Here's Toscano. Outside for Curry. Clock at four. A three-pointer. Wiggins. They get it again. Clippers leading by 17. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. And that one is good. You know, a lot of times we talk about good passing, but accurate passing is a huge quality of a good pass, and Leonard did it there. Wiggins outside to end the run. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. He has been an absolute wrecking ball from outside during this half, guys. Zubac finds Williams. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Timeout called the Warriors. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. On its way from Curry for two, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Curry's got 46 points. Here's Williams. Harold trying to free himself up. Great tee that time from Curry. Warriors trail by 16. Ball's knocked loose. Chris pass to Curry. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, how about that finish by Steph there? He's just a master at altering his shot after he hears the whistle and gets the contact and finishes.
Los Angeles leading by 13. Here's Shamit. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Shamit's got four points this quarter. Such an effective combo guard. We all know that Lou Williams can score, but once he gets going, he'll set a teammate up too. Knocks it loose, and so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Golden State. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. He had a nice open look right there. Wiggins has got 25 points in the game. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. They see the athleticism there of Harrell and does a great job of just wreaking havoc on that possession. And slam dunk by Pascal. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Williams can't get it to go. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. A 12-point game. Now here's Harrell. That's good. Basket number five on a five-for-eight night shooting. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Here's Curry, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And it felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. First one falls for him. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. George is checked in for the Clippers. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Clippers leading by 12. And he gets it to go. George has got 49 points in the game. Well, you'd like to push Paul George out of the paint if possible. Goes into his bag of tricks to score that time. Curry finds Thompson. And it's good for two. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. L.A.'s gone 3-6 tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's Williams. The offensive rebound, Zubats, and the dunk by Zubats. Scraping and clawing, doing everything he can to grow that lead. Mm, emphatic on the putback stuff. Now, a team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. For the Clippers, Morris is checked in for Montrez Harrell. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Williams. Patrick Beverly. Here's Leonard. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Leonard's got 12 points here in the second half. Curry against Beverly. Poke loose. Stolen by Beverly. Leonard attacking. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. With his developing handle, Leonard now has defenders at his mercy. Went on the bounce. Warriors trail by 18. And here is Curry. Another possession, another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Los Angeles calls timeout.
Green. He's checked in for Eric Paschal. Los Angeles leading by 16. Zubats in the post. Started by Green. And that one is good from Zubats. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Here's Green, and Green slams it in. Ah, Draymond Green's going to be very excited about that play. LA's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. And that one's good. Beverly. Yeah, he's going to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. Well, defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Wiggins kicks to Chris. Some nice passing by Golden State here. To the middle. And the rejection by Leonard. And he's able to get it back. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Yep, that one goes. He's selective, but it's huge when Beverly starts to find his stroke like this. Curry way outside, and another three for Golden State. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. I feel like Beverly plays sort of this out-of-control chaos game, and it gets the defense to get sloppy. They did so there. And he knocks down the first one. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. All three throws, good from Beverly. Yeah, I think Patrick Beverly, for the entirety of his NBA career, is really going to embrace the role of being the villain. Has no problem with it whatsoever. Connects again. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA, really taking it to the opposition. Second chance shot. Zubats, that's good. And the Clippers lead by 19. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Inside, out to Chris. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got six assists in the game. Marquise Chris is becoming a better scorer, more familiar with those areas on the floor. That time, catch and shoot. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Thompson with the bucket. Well, you want to push Clay into those areas, and it's a little bit deflating when he starts to make perimeter jump shots more towards the inside. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. And here are the Warriors now, trailing by 19. Passes to Chris, to the inside, Green, and it's Green with the jam. You know, didn't need two hands for that slam. One will do just fine. You're right. He can save the other hand for the next time. <laughs> Here's Zubats. Morris trying to free himself up. Another one falls for the Clippers. Uh, there he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Clippers. They lead by 17. A quick shot there, and it's off target. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Thompson with the ball. He gets that one. Wiggins has got 29. And with that mid-range jumper, Wiggins has the lift to shoot over almost anyone. And that one's good. Beverly. Ah, that's a perfect reverse using the backboard as his friend drew the defender in and just slipped it to the other side. There's Curry. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Curry's got 58. So Steph Curry, the best shooter in the world, is open and has the ball. Yeah, that's what I thought. And he comes up with the deuce. And the Clippers lead by 17. 
Golden State's gone 4 6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. The pass to Chris to the paint. And again, 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Here's Beverly. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Chris has got five rebounds tonight. Wiggins with it. Guarded now by Morris. Fires from deep. And Stephen Curry another three. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. They double-team Curry. A three-pointer, Wiggins, another three for Golden State. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Stolen by Beverly. Here's Thompson. Pass to Curry. Let's the three fly. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Here's George. And yep, another basket. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Thompson dishes to Green. The tray. Another three for Golden State. I don't know how you do it, but you just can't give Steph any room from any distance. And he makes that one. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They trail by nine. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Paul George. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. There's 53 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Down low, Chris. And again, another assist. 25 assists. What an unselfish performance. He has been a sensational playmaker. And that one's good, George. Yeah, Paul George can get very shifty, even with that kind of frame, and he fights his way through the contact. Inside, here's Thompson. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, this is a gravity game right now. Whatever he throws up must come down. He's having a great game. First personal foul, team's third. At the line for the Warriors. Clay Thompson. With one.
That free throw good from Thompson. He's such a natural shooter. That was Thompson's calling card coming out of Washington State as a Cougar, and he's added to his game now. Always one of the premier two guards that steps on the floor for any NBA season. And the Warriors making a change here. Marquise Chris. Green. Andrew Wiggins. Here's Magruder, guarded by Green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. And Magruder continuing to grind out possessions. That time takes punishment. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Uh, Over time, Magruder just continues to pound away to try to find a spot where he can get more and more comfortable in a rotation in the NBA. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. Guy is a comeback, probably not in the cards at this point. Yeah, I think you can put a fork in it. Outside green. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Now this team trusts everybody, and this time the trust was in Draymond Green. And the Clippers call time here. They're up by five. 19 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Nineteen seconds left in the game. I got him, I got him. And Steph Curry with the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, tough break for him there. But they'd have a tough time coming back from this deficit no matter who's on the floor. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're trailing by seven. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth. Out to Chris. Here's the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. 
Mann passes to Green. And so Los Angeles takes the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you very much, Kevin. Kawhi, you have become an elite two-way player, so how do you carry that scoring load with that defensive responsibility? Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, you know, your mind's on the whole game, 48 minutes, but, uh, you know, my teammates give me in the groove, give me the energy to keep fighting throughout the whole 48 minutes. Well, you did a great job of leading them tonight, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.